if you want to achieve this look equipped with this outfit, keep on watching. I'll give you the full DIY clothes and makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at funwithsia to see upcoming looks or videos. If I do another DIY video, I gotta go eat some brains. You'll need old clothes that you don't mind messing up, scissors, paint, preferably black and white, something to mix it all up with, and blood. I started by distressing the clothes and making them look old and tattered and like I've been wearing them forever. I made shorts with my jeans, but you don't have to do that. You can just make a whole bunch of holes in them if you want to. I just wanted to make my jeans shorts. Now I'm applying paint to make it look old and worn out and dirty and disgusting actually. But I think this will look and make a really cool costume. And I also applied blood after this, but I forgot to film it. <laughs> now I, with the shirt, did the same thing with the pants, but I applied freshly dripping blood down the collar of my shirt. Like I had just eaten. Now onto the makeup, I already applied white paint all over my face and now I'm just blending it with the blending spongy. Now I'm gonna be using some liquid latex and some tissue to create a wound. Start by putting the latex around the perimeter of the tissue. After that, you should put the latex onto the tissue. Now I'm going to do the same thing with a wound on the side of my face. And for this part, you can add as many wounds as you like, anywhere you like. And I just chose to do two. Now while the latex is drying, you can move on to your eyes. I chose to use a gray color to hollow out my eyes. Now I'm using a dark purple color right underneath my eye, underneath where I put the gray. And I'm doing this to both eyes. Now I'm using some dark red right underneath that dark purple color and I'm doing I'm applying this because it gives it that blood pooling kind of look. Now I'm just trying to blend it out. Now moving back to the wounds or latex. I am pulling a hole into the latex to give it my desired size. After that, I put red into the center of it to be a foundation for when I put the blood on top of it. I'm putting purple around the edges of the wound. And then I'm using a dark brown color around the purple. And then I'm doing the same thing with the other wound on my face. Now for the fun part, you can add as much blood as you like to these wounds and make them look like it's oozing with blood. This should be the funnest part of the makeup. Well, it is for me anyway. Now I'm applying blood all over my mouth to make it look like I had just eaten. I just got scared of my own reflection right there. So here's my finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you like the video or have another idea. And thanks guys for watching. Bye.